Hello. <laughs> Good Live morning. On Facebook. <laughs> Doing double duty. Being a co-creator for this beautiful chat and technical director. <laughs> Bringing hey. my old life back into my present life. There you go. <laughs> Can I, that, so that, you know, you, you have those, you connect those dots. You think, mm -hmm. what am I going to do with this? What am I going to do with think, this? I have this BFA yeah. and I'm not doing anything with it. Wrong. <laughs> I know. I know. Mm, how are you this morning? Hey, I'm well. I'm well. I decided to pop up a image from the beach. It's yeah. like um, the universe scribbled with a highlighter over my head. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. It's, um, uh, yeah, it's cold here at the beach. It's Yeah, so that's why I'm inside cold. today. I've been outside in our last couple chats and I was like, oh no, today is a day to be inside. Yeah, I hesitated to post what they temperature was because i know a lot of people <laughs> that follow me on other channels want to see something warm and beachy <laughs> 37 degrees is it really people yeah right see. hey but it you know what it can be 37 degrees here at the beach but you can still have this mm -hmm. and the the warmth of the light and you know, well, and the vibe is and, still there. So, And it nurtures your soul. And since we're talking about nurturing today, we're just going to bring that right into the forefront that, of that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Demeter is showing up in the, in the sky for me this morning. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah, I actually, um, it's, it's interesting because this weekend I had a couple of really, um, beautiful, uh, opportunities and experiences that, um, yeah, I was able to do an actual in-person sound session vibration healing session and um haven't done that since march i did one drum circle but it was i was a uh, just brought into a group but i mean like as far as like having a group inviting people that you know i know and love and 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 that i have journeyed with for this these last few years it was our first time coming together in person and um such a beautiful experience, such a beautiful experience. And we did some drumming, some sound healing, hung out with some sheep and some llama. It was just, it was just yummy. So it really, really, I didn't realize how um, displaced I had felt um, not having any in-person sessions. And, and so, um, I am grateful for the opportunity to have a hybrid experience where I can have live sessions, I can have virtual sessions, I can have private sessions that are in person or or on our virtual mm -hmm. platform. And so it's um, it's really good, but it was nice to have that time this weekend. And my I felt so like, oh, like my soul was so happy and and mm -hmm. joy was just radiating from me. And there was a lot of energy that was moved. I actually had one of the participants come to me. She's like, I've never cried at these before, but I just, just tears were streaming down my face during the bowl today. And I was like, yep, you needed it. And then I left from there and went and had a beautiful experience um, this weekend with some friends and got to do some kayaking and had um, some fun with uh, an osprey and a, um, a dolphin that swam with us while we were kayaking. <laughs> it was so great. Oh <laughs> my it. gosh, I know. She was like, you are the dolphin whisperer. She's like, every time you come here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, manatees, you would think, but um, mm -hmm. dolphins, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> Dolphins in the in brackish water. Yep, they were there. Totally was with us. Oh, so I it, love that. talk about having having yourself nurtured. There was definitely a huge dose of of um, being nurtured that occurred for me this weekend, and 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 I still feel it radiating out into this week. And so I know, I know that that Demeter showing up was like 
yes continue mm -hmm. doing things that are nurturing nurturing you because if we don't nurture ourselves we don't have anything to give from our dear friend sue says um you know she she uses this analogy that i love and and we'll talk we'll go more into demeter's um, message here in a minute but but this is very i think apropos for what we're talking about here today is that if you serve from your cup it drains right it becomes empty very easily but mm -hmm. if you fill your cup so full that it's overflowing into the saucer that sits below the cup and you serve from the saucer, your cup is always full. Mm -hmm. And so that is the image I have in my mind when I think about, am I, am I, am I being of service, you know, in a way that is nurturing to my, my existence and my, my journey here? Yeah, serve from the saucer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that. It, well, and I really like the idea that yet yeah, you, you're aware of uh, nurturing yourself and serving from the overflow. Mm -hmm. And that Demeter is the nurturer, but she's the nurturer from the earth. Uh, from mm -hmm. the grain that we've harvested uh, that you went out in nature and nature showed you, gave you, mm -hmm. served from her, her saucer. She's, she's full yep. She's yep. and she's got so much to give. We just have to sit there and receive it. Call mm -hmm. on, uh, hey, I, I, I need something here. And being in nature, wow, what mm -hmm. better energy to, to get, right? Exactly. Rather, exactly. I mean, we could, we could go for some candy or a donut <laughs> or something like that, you know, not kind of nurturing in a way, comfort food, the mac and cheese, and, you know, all that right. stuff that we think yeah. about, well, you know, a cup of tea or whatever, but that's not really yeah. going to give you that the nurturing that sustainable that we need. yeah sustainable energy and right? and then right. let's talk a little bit about the over giving and the people pleasing mm -hmm. yeah, please. mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. sort of thing i think that really resonated yeah. with some some of the goddesses uh, out there this week when mm -hmm. we posted about mm -hmm. that i it People pleasing was a, a big part of my previous yeah. life. It to the point where it it nearly, literally, almost killed me. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, it it dropped me to my knees and to where I said I cannot do this anymore if I if I succumb to this people pleasing anymore it's yeah it, it will not mm -hmm. it does not serve me and it's, it really doesn't serve the other people no, um, no. well yeah. and you know it's training right so we we were raised in such a way or like, like I was raised in such a way that it was you know this is this is how you're loved if you make me happy then I love you you don't make me happy then then you know i'm there's boundaries set around the affection right and mm -hmm. um you know it's so it's 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 one of those things that it's a matter of observing within myself um the wiring how am mm -hmm. i wired i'm wired to act in this way and it becomes this passive this passive way of being, you know, like, oh, I have to do all these things to make all these people happy. It took me, once I became aware of it, it took me about 10 years, really, 10 years to really, really get to a place where, um, it, and I'm gonna say this, it doesn't mean that it doesn't sneak up because it does, it just means that I'm able to, to shift that current much quicker than I used to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yeah. I find myself asking more questions before saying yes. And 
um, just really leaning into, I use this, uh, I had this conversation with a client this week about the difference between alignment and, and just passive yes. Mm. So when I am passively saying yes, that is my, my wiring, that's my behavior, that is the way that I have been trained to act and, and respond to a situation. Mm -hmm. When I pause, when I sit with it, when I, it, is this really in alignment for me and with me in my life? then mm -hmm. I can really begin to find the true yeses and the true no's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if it's yeah, not it's in like alignment my... with me, my purpose, my, my soul. <laughs> yeah, that's been my whole year. Then it's not I mine. Out. Aligned mm -hmm. action. That was my mantra for the year. My mm -hmm. two words, but I, I'm thinking when I was younger. I was the de the designated peacemaker in the family. That that was really my role. Mm -hmm. And I was often told, "Oh, Paige is the peacemaker." And I just wanted everybody to get along. I didn't want any conflict. Mm -hmm. it, it just didn't sit well with mm -hmm. me. And then you develop mm -hmm. this when you start pleasing everyone else and agreeing with everyone else and just you lose your, your sense of who you are and what do you believe deep down? And you, you stuff that intuition down, like when things just don't sit well with you, like, I oh, don't know, but I'm gonna go along mm -hmm. with it anyway, because uh, mm -hmm. I want you to like me, or I just don't wanna rock the mm -hmm. boat. Uh, then you get a, like you said, it took a number of years to work through that. And yeah. it, I would have to say, <laughs> 10 years, yeah, that was at least as long as it took me to mm -hmm. really find myself. And, and the, is this in alignment with, with me, with my energy yeah. and being able to discern Not, that? Is this, oh, this is exciting. I want to do it. And then I get in it and I'm like, oh, why am I doing this? This yeah. is it. Yeah. 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 And the, the yeah. overgiving, so, you know, you want to say yes to a ton of things. It, a lot because mm -hmm. often you're being asked and it is something that you can do however do you need to do it do you need to do it at that time mm -hmm. maybe there's somebody else that can do it and you can foster their gifts mm -hmm. by saying you know what i i really can't do that right now yeah like yeah. you're somebody else well and i have actually learned to use that mm -hmm. language <clears throat> when i'm when I'm having conversation or co-creating with another person. So for a long time, because of the way that my intuition works, I can see the potential. Like I can see it, like it's, it looks like a movie screen in front of my mind. When I'm working with somebody, I can see the, their potential. But at the end of the day, if that person isn't ready to, to step into that, or they don't feel called or aligned to that it doesn't matter how much i can see the potential of a situation of a scenario with another because then i'm just giving this energy into something that's not not having equal transfer and that's one of the messages that demeter shares is this equal mm -hmm. transfer of energy right? right so if i'm working with somebody and i'm trying to push them along i'm just draining my energy source mm -hmm. so this is where that alignment question comes in is, is this in alignment? So, um, when Paige and I first started this journey with invoking the divine goddess, I remember sitting down with her and going, okay, I'm really feeling this and I'm seeing this. And I want you to sit with this for the next few days. And I want you to really lean into, does this feel in alignment for you? Because if it doesn't, then that's okay. But I really want to hear from you if, if this is, if this is a yes, and then you can share your side of that. But, but that for me became, has become a very important part of my commitment to working with another human being is mm -hmm. to ask them to listen to their own intuition and to honor it to, to its highest, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, and uh, thank Good. you for giving, holding space for me to do that because I, of course, when you said, I see us doing this and, and I immediately want to say, yes, 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 yes. And, even if my soul and spirit is saying, yes, do it, 
to yes, just go go inward and and think, is this a really a yes or maybe this is an alignment, but you're thinking, okay, maybe a little bit in the future and yeah. uh, and of course my answer was, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> what whatever it is and i and thank you for that i've learned that lesson as well from you and from work co-creating with you and some other people with uh with my podcast my other side gig i have the opportunity to speak with people who like really want to be on the podcast i don't want to talk I to, or i need to practice public speaking or whatever and you you want mm-hmm. to help them with that and you're like yeah 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 i've learned to have a, a conversation with them beforehand okay here is what it's about here's how i do it that this is kind of the and if if yeah. that's an alignment with you if then let's let's explore that because i don't have to have everybody and anybody mm-hmm. uh going going through this that uh, it it doesn't serve either right. one of us really well and i think the other piece of that that i learned that was kind of i had to learn was not just does this feel good to you and then and then wanting an immediate reaction it was i'm going to invite you to spend a couple of days with this and then let me know on tuesday or let's let's come back together in a week and just really you know make sure that this feels good because again my gemini self is like okay let's go and I, i'm like i can go because that's just how right you works once i'm committed it's like but i had to learn to to understand everybody's energy is a little bit different right and the way that they process is different and how they move mm-hmm. is different it's funny we're talking about your word for the year so um, my word for the year was stillness I know the camera's seeing it backwards, but this was on my, my envelope that I, I left for myself to review for Mm -hmm. my intentions that I set in January and the very first card. So I'm going to share this because I feel like it's really important. Um, and, and, and reflective of our conversation here with Demeter. My very first card says expanded tribe. So I went from having a four wall tribe to, um, a universal tribe because we are virtual (laughs) Mm -hmm. more quality time with my family well i got plenty of that this year (laughs) yeah and trusting in the divine more that was my very first card that i wrote to myself in my in my intentions for for 2020 so i um yeah i think that it's Trust your intuition. Trust your um, your in, your internal knowing because it has the answers. These are these are the these are the statements that I placed, not from my ego mind, but after meditating and after leaning into the energy and really asking spirit to help me see where I want to go this year. Mm-hmm. And when you do that, then then what you're putting out and what you're receiving back is inequality, it is in balance. It is not in um, people pleasing or codependence or um, meeting the need of another. It's not automatic response programming. It is um, aligned action. Right, right. Yeah, yeah uh, that when we're thinking about giving here in December, that's first and foremost in our mind with the holidays and we and we think of it as better to give than receive and we we're kind of trained to think about that and it it's not that everything needs to be an equal and opposite exchange I mean, you can be giving you could be getting from another source the re- I won't say the reward but the the benefit uh, you just have to be open to that and um, mm. yeah uh, you know sometimes we do give without the you know paying it forward sort of thing and yeah and, and again and that's good it, yeah yeah 
but we're we're it's feeling a, that uh, yeah, I have this to give, and it feels good, right. and then that you know. Um, but that's the nurturing that's aspect. Thing. So when I'm nurturing mm -hmm. myself and caring for myself, I'm giving from that overflow into the saucer. Mm -hmm. So that you know it. By no means are we um, minimizing the selfless acts of service because that is um, a beautiful expression of unconditional love. It's the difference is, is when am I, am I operating from a place of making sure everybody else is happy before my, my own happiness? Mm -hmm. Or am I operating from a place Ooh, that's of a I am so full I have so I have an abundance of of nurturing, and I have more than enough to give. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that feels so good. And finding the balance between those two points. Mm -hmm. And don't you don't you want to receive that from somebody who's just like I have so much. I just want yeah. you to have this, and then you feel like mm -hmm. oh, that that energy of that is 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 yeah. beautiful. It, it's energizing. It's not like, mm -hmm. okay, okay, here we go. I'm giving you more. You know, <laughs> I don't know. I'm that, just plugging along, yucky. doing what I always do. And, yeah. And really, it's about how am I feeling? Does this feel good? Am I feeling joyful in what I'm doing, or am I feeling resentment? I mean, that's oh, yeah. that's one of the the things that I have really. Um, I, I'm actually in the process of of, of uh, exploring an opportunity and. Um, the way it was explained to me, I was like, I can't do that. And the reason I couldn't do it is because I would know that I, I may not re be resentful of it right now, but in a month or two months or three months, I'm going to feel resentment about it because of the amount of energy I'm having to put out with a, with, with a minimal amount of return. So mm -hmm. if I speak my truth and say, this is what I need and the other person that has a choice to meet that need or not mm -hmm. so that's tremendously important to my 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 uh, process of elimination or acceptance mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. um am i really moving into the scenario with an informed is it am i making an informed decision or am i jumping at it because it's available yeah i yeah. think that's uh a wonderful place for us to wind things up perhaps where we can mm -hmm. have you all sit in that stillness and think of about what you're being asked to do this holiday season or for your family and uh, for others uh, is this an mm -hmm. alignment or is this something yeah. that you need to just let go and mm -hmm. where are you mm -hmm. where are you in it right now what is your inner goddess telling you you need to do yes yeah yeah yes yes, yes. goddess well oh my arms just disappeared yes. so <laughs> so for those of you who are interested we are working with uh, the goddess kali on friday night uh so if you would like to join us um for that you can check that out next wednesday night we will be having our um, got a circle for the new moon. Um, so check that out as well. And then just as a side note, I have, um, on the 21st of December, the winter solstice, um, I'm having a special event. So if you would are interested in that, I'm going to post, we'll keep posting all that into our group so that you have access to it, but we're going to have a winter solstice event where we're going to be doing some releasing ceremony and some um rest and re restoration which is what the winter is all about is taking rest and and reflection mm -hmm. so um we have lots of beautiful uh, opportunities to come together as we wind down the the end of this year and begin to move into the next year and um you know let's just see how it unfolds goddesses mm -hmm. so glad that you could be with us today Yes. Have a beautiful day, and we look forward to seeing you very soon. Mm -hmm. Bye, ladies. Namaste. Namaste.